Thanksgiving meal sometimes can be uh, a little fun, but a little dangerous as well. You know, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we kind of reinvent it a little bit and, and show you um, a couple different preparations. Um, we're going to be doing a marinated uh, fresh green bean salad. Okay, we're going to use fresh green beans, tomatoes, basil, olive oil, salt and pepper, just very flavorful and fresh. Um, quinoa. Does anyone know what quinoa is? You love it? Yeah? Has, 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 who hasn't tried it? Who not tried it? Alright, got a couple back. pass out real quick. But uh, this is quinoa and you can pass them around the room as well. You can look at it. It's a great item. Okay, I got here. It's, uh, there's some information on your packets there. You can pass it around and just kind of look at the bags. Um, very high in protein. Uh, a great substitute for a lot of things like rice and uh, pasta. We use it many different ways at the hospital. We're starting to use it on our salad bar frequently. Um, both of those competitions that uh, Doctor just described that I was in, both times I used quinoa and won. Okay, so that's very unique, and that, and that was one of the things they're saying. Wow, that, that we have these chefs now cooking with, you know, whole grains and different ingredients, and it was really exciting. So that was. A part of the factor of why we won is um, one of it was execution, but we were also using new ingredients. The basic ratio it that you used to cook in quinoa, oh, and it's one part quinoa to two parts liquid. Um, the liquid of choice would be to use stock, but you can use water. Um, I've seen some people use uh, take the stock and add orange juice to it just to enhance it a little bit. Um, but the basic ratio would be one one part. Um, this is half half a cup quinoa to half a cup, um, one cup of water right here. And I'm just going to show you basically, it's very easy to do. The recipe you had has um, celery, onion, carrots in it. You can do anything at this point. I've seen, um, we've done it with bacon, we've done it with butternut squash, roasted zucchini, lots of fresh herbs, whatever's, whatever's, um, whatever you have. So I'm just going to toast it really quick. It just helps bring out that nuttiness in the quinoa. It's a really quick toast. And then all you basically do is you add your liquid and you can bring it to a, um, bring it to a quick boil and then cover it and it will steam for about 15 minutes. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is. It's just like cooking rice, pasta. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite things to cook with now. I've got some green beans, some fresh basil. Now I'm going to take some Roma tomato right here. And I'm just going to chop it up really quick. Just a small dice on this. My Roma tomatoes, and then a little bit of fresh garlic. I'm not the powdered garlic type of guy. I'm a fresh garlic guy, all right? And, you know, and I come home every day, my hands might smell like garlic, and I, my clothes might smell like garlic, but the flavor of the food is so, is so worth it. So if you can remember anything, powdered garlic, not so much. <laughs> so I'm just going to give this a nice quick chop. more like a mince. And you'll have that really fresh flavor as it marinates. I only need just a little bit of it here. Okay. Then to this, I'm going to add extra virgin olive oil. Okay. A little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit. Brings out all that freshness in the garlic and the green beans. And then some freshly cracked black pepper. Just to give it a little bit of acidity, we have some balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit of splash there. I'm just going to give it a quick toss. I'm going to let this marinate for a little while. Doesn't need long, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you could do it for two hours, it'd be better though. Forms a nice little sauce dressing on the bottom. There we go. Um, I'm going to set this to I'm the side. I'm also going to ask for a volunteer to help me bre with the breading. Is anyone interested? All right, come on up here. How you doing today? I got some gloves for you right here if you want to help. And I'm going to show you first, and then you're going to kind of help me out a little bit, all right? But I have this, um, I'm going to turn my pan on a little low here, just to get it, just to get it going. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the turkey, I'm going to dip it in my, my eggs here, mm -hmm. okay? That's the trick part. When you're, whenever you're, you're breading something, you want to use two hands. 
Okay, and this, this, this avoids you getting clumpy fingers and all the breading sticking off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a wet hand and a dry hand. Okay. With my wet hand, I'm going to put it into the mixture, which is just grated Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley here. And then my dry hand, I'm going to just coat it like this. All right. All right. Coat it on both sides. Now I'm going to dip it in the egg mixture again, make sure it's completely coated. So you mind taking a minute and doing Perfect. a couple more of those? Sure. Appreciate it. I'm going to brown it right in the pan here. Another tip is when you're, whenever you're putting something into a saute pan, you want to drop it away from you. Never drop it towards you. This way you, you never have that splatter. If you're using oil um, or any of the egg or whatever, it would pop up and burn your face off. So, little trick. But um, what we're going to do, I'll just put one more piece in. I don't want to crowd the pan because I want to get it nice and brown on both sides. So thanks a lot for your help. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Make sure you get one of those bags of quinoa that I passed around, all right? Oh, Appreciate you. it. Good job. What I'm going to do is just brown on both it. sides. I'm going to take some wine here. And what this is going to do is I'm going to deglaze the pan. I want to get any little piece of flavor I can from this pan. I don't want to just take this and throw it in the oven or throw it on a plate. This pan has now developed these little bits of flavor and they call that fond, which is a base. So I want to get all that fond off so I can make my sauce. So at this point I'm just going to take my wine and just add a little bit. I'm using white wine here. Red wine might be a little too strong for turkey, uh, for cooking, but white wine will work really good. So what I'm doing is I'm deglazing the pan, I'm getting all those bits and pieces of turkey, all those little brown bits, just kind of scraping them up. I'm going to cook a little more. I'm going to talk to you about the dessert that, that uh, was made for you out there as well today. I think it's, you have recipe cards in front of you. Um, our executive chef Ray Dottavio actually made these for you. And um, what it is, is, is uh, it's a pumpkin custard and we made it parfait style and it's really delicious. Um, another thing that, that you know, after doing this for, for you all here, we're, we're contemplating putting this on our menus at Rex because it was really delicious. And, and it's, um, it's healthy, it's, it's just um, pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling, um, cinnamon, Splenda, uh, cloves, ginger, um, some eggs, and some evaporated low-fat milk. We've baked that. On the recipe, it says to use a water bath, which is basically putting it into little ramekins first. And then the water bath, what that does is it creates an even cooking temperature in your oven. So you use a water bath typically when you're cooking custards, creme brulees, um, um, some rice pudding, bread pudding. If you use a water bath, what it's going to do is it's going to control the heat in the oven and make sure it bakes um, Like evenly. I said, I took some quinoa. I, took, uh, I mixed it together, but I have dried cranberries, there's celery, onion, carrots, as per your recipe, and uh, some orange zest and walnuts as well. And I'm just going to plate this nice dish that I prepared for you. I have a ring mold here, just to keep it neat. I'm going to put some of the quinoa in here. If you have to eat gluten-free, is that considered gluten-free? Um, yes. I believe so, yes. It's, yes. And, and other ways to do quinoa, it's, it's great for um, as, a, as a meat substitute. You know, if you use cooked quinoa and then made chili with it and instead of meat, it's very flavorful. We've done the same with uh, wheat bread. The way you know the sauce is done, um, it's a term I learned in cooking, cooking school, it's nappe, which is uh, pretty much French for coating the back of the spoon. So that, that's, how, that's how you can tell how thick it needs to be. Is you take a spoon to it, and if you know, you can coat the back of the spoon with it. It's a nice sauce-like consistency. So that's kind of what I did here. And then I'm going to garnish it with two things. These are uh, some citrus microgreens. Some of the things we use at the hospital. Uh, these are some baby greens here just to garnish. Get some nice <coughs> color. And then I have some of our roasted red pepper coulis, which is basically a, a puree of uh, roasted red peppers. And this is just to garnish the dish. <coughs> put a little spoonful on it. And that is it. So we have a turkey franchise with a quinoa. A quinoa salad that has dried cranberries and walnuts, marinated green beans, and a uh, roasted pepper coulis sauce as a garnish. Okay? Very easy to do.